Hi, thank you so much for being with us today. My name is Beth, and we're going to talk about our Welch signers of the Declaration of Independence. You know, if we are studying our Scottish ancestry, we run across Welch people all the time. I know I do. I have a lot of Welch in my own. Of course, I'm a Scottish mutt, truly. Anyway, Keith L. Price Rosenberger of Pennsylvania wrote a letter to the editor of Edric, The Mirror. That's the oldest Welch newspaper in the United States. And uh, he wrote that many of the signers of our Declaration of Independence were Welch. John Adams, who became the second American president, had ancestors who immigrated from Wales. John Morton was the second grandson of Sarah Owen, the second daughter of Robert and Jane Owen, and Sarah was born in Wales. Button Gwinnett was born in Glamorganshire. His brother was the owner of the Penellan Castle. Arthur Middleton was Welch. John Penn from the same lineage as William Penn, the founder of Pennsylvania, uh, was from Wales. Francis Lightfoot Lee was the grandson and great-grandson of Richard Lee and Edward Don Lee, both from Wales. Richard Henry Lee was the brother of Stephen Lightfoot Lee. Stephen Hopkins was the great-grandson of Thomas Hopkins of Cardiff, and he immigrated to Rhode Island in 1630. William Williams was of, the, was of Welch descent. His great-grandfather immigrated from uh, Wales with Thomas Hopkins, who married the daughter of Benedict Arnold, the first governor of Rhode Island. Francis Lewis was Welch where, and was from Glamorganshire, where his father was rector and was the Reverend Francis Lewis. William Floyd was the son of Nicole Floyd and the grandson of Colonel Richard Floyd, who immigrated from Wales. Lewis Morris was the descendant of Rhys Fitzgerald, who was, the, who was prominent in Ireland during the reign of Henry II. He moved to Wales and dropped the Fitzgerald, changing uh, to Maurice, who eventually became Morris. During the 17th century, the same Morrises were very reputable in Wales. Some participated in the English Civil War. One of them was Richard Morris, who fought with Cromwell's armies. Richard Morris immigrated to New York City and was the father of Lewis Morris. Francis Hopkinson was the son of Thomas and Mary Hopkinson, who immigrated from Wales. Thomas Jefferson wrote in his own diary when he was 77 years of age, the tradition of my father's family is that my ancestor originated from Wales, from the region of Snowdon, the highest mountain in Great Britain. I once was, at, uh, was in a court case from Wales. In other uh, reports, our ancestors on one of the people either was a prosecutor or the defendant. Jefferson's father, Peter Jefferson, called his home plantation where they lived in Buckingham County, Virginia. He called it Snowden. It is thought that Samuel Adams from Massachusetts, George Claymore from Pennsylvania, and Benjamin Harrison from Virginia were also of Welch descent. Among the signers of the Declaration of Independence were 24 lawyers, 14 agriculturists, 4 physicians, 
one minister of the gospel, and three more who prepared for that calling but chose other vocations. One man, one who was a manufacturer, and nine merchants. The longevity of the signers of the Declaration of Independence was remarkable. Three lived to be over 90, 10 over 80, 11 over 70, 14 over 60, and 11 over 50. Six lived to be over 44. One Thomas Lynch, who lost his life accidentally by drowning at sea, was only 30 years of age, making the average lifespan of the signers of our Declaration of Independence 62 years. That's interesting. Thank you so much for joining us today. Come back again.